So day two of Royal Ascot will kick off with the centrepiece of the whole meet in the Ascot Gold Cup. Born Trippy, Paul Rhodes, Caribus, Dan Hughes, Luxie Lan, Darren Thompson, Prigley Harvest, Craig Beckwith, Yonkers, Stargazer, Vinnie Gerard, Battle Satire from UNAS, Bell Ringer, Joshua Sutherland, Highbury in October, Graham Crystal, Lara Disalady, Padre Hogan, Rainbow Explorer, Leon Van Rensburg, and Sweat in Bullet for Graham Clutterbuck. So, a particularly big field this year. And away we go. Two and a half miles the trip. And Rainbow Explorer down on this near side is disputably with Battle Satire, but it's Battle Satire. Looks like it's going to go on. Leads by a couple. And Born Trippy. And Luxy Lan, and then Luxy Lan. And Luxy Lian is now in second. Looking towards the back bell ringer, he's just a back marker, but there's. An awful long way to go, and now Luxu Lian has come through to take it up. So Luxu Lian for Darren Thompson is leading the Gold Cup field by about two to three lengths, and looks like he might be interested in pulling away even further. I'll be careful they don't let him go too far in front. We saw what happened yesterday with the long distance race with that uh, horse of Matt Cooper's, I think it was, that was allowed to an easy lead, and they just never caught it. A battle satire is in second. Lara Dissa Lady on the outside is third. Caribus in the blue is fourth. And Yonkers Stargazer between those two in the green with Prickly Harvest and Born Trippy and Bell Ringer. Horror in October, Rainbow Explorer, and finally Sweat in Bullet. So, most of the trainers will be looking at this and be thinking, and oh, goodness, there's no James Shea. And then they notice that there's the Vinnie Gerard. Those two took most of the plaudits on day one and most of the races as well. Luxu Lian in the lead. And Caribus in second. Battle Satire is third on the inside of Lara Dissa Lady. Then comes Yonker Stargazer in the green. For Vinnie Gerard. Then Bell Ringer and Rainbow Explorer. Prickly Harvest is next. Born Trippy is towards the rear. Along with the two Graham Clutterbuck horses. Hybrid in October and Sweating Bullet. And Gray really likes these long distance races, but he. He's biting off a bit more than he can chew in this one. Luxu Lian, who's clearing the lead. On Caribus in second. Battle Satire third. Larry Disalady fourth. Then Bell Ringer. Yonkers Stargazer. Rainbow Explorer. Then Prickly Harvest. All trippy getting itself plenty of cover on the inside. Might need a little bit of looking running later on, though. Hybrid October. And Sweating Bullet. Well, the last two, but looks like Liang just easing the pace off a little bit there. A bit of a mid-race breather. Still leads by four to Caribus, who's in second. And Battle Satire is third. Laradis the Lady is fourth. Prickly Harvest. And Rainbow's Explorer with Yonkers Stargazer. Bell Ringer on the outside. Sweating Bullet. Hybrid Doctor. Born Trippy is now just a back marker. One of the people's favourite for this one, I think. Born Trippy. It's looks like Liang. Who's in the lead? We're on Battle Satire and Caribus. Then Rainbow Explorer and Bell Ringer. With Prickly Harvest between those two. Then the yellow jacket of Lara Dissa Lady. Wider on the track. Sweating Bullet is making a bit of a forward move. Born Trippy has gone past Yonkers. Stargazer and Hybrid October is now the back marker. Suddenly there's only six furlongs left in the Ascot Gold Cup. And it's Luxu Lian who continues to lead. But only by a length now to Battle Satire in second. Rainbow Explorer is third. Bell Ringer is next. Sweating Bullet making a forward move round the outside. Then Prickly Harvest. Born Trippy is starting to run on. Caribus is losing his place and dropping out. Then Laradissa Ladies also dropped back. Yonkers Stargazer with plenty of work to do as well. But it's Luxu Lian with four to go in the Gold Cup from Battle Satire in second. Then Prickly Harvest and Rainbow Explorer. Born Trippy now could in his way through the pack, then comes Bell Ringer and Sweating Bullet. Hybrid knocks over around the outside. Yankers Stargazer is now getting going. Caribus and Lara Dissa Lady look to be struggling past the three, and it still just looks to Leanne from Prickly Harvest. Born Trippy racing up the back of him. He's run himself into a cul de sac again. Then comes Yonkers Stargazer and Hybrid knocks over. Now Born Trippy sees the gap and goes for home. It's Born Trippy with two furlongs to go. He's hit the front. Born Trippy suddenly goes a length clear. It's Born Trippy, a length clear from Yonkers Stargazer who's coming out of the Back, but Born Trippy's now three lengths clear. It's Born Trippy in the lead from Prickly Harvest and Rainbow Explorer, Yonkers Stargazer and Bell Ringer. But it's Born Trippy with half a furlong to go. He's got to be the Gold Cup going to Paul Rhodes, and Born Trippy takes it for that Professor. Born Trippy wins the Ascot Gold Cup from Rainbow Explorer and Yonkers Stargazer. 
quickly harvest and bell ringer. So Paul Rhodes takes the Ascot Gold Cup with Bourne Trippy. Look to try and make it make hard work of it really over a lot of the race, but won pretty comfortably in the end. Bourne Trippy for Paul Rhodes takes it. Rainbow Explorer for Leon van Rensburg was second. Yonkers Stargazer for Vinnie Gerard was third. Prickly Harvest Craig Beckwith was fourth. Bell Ringer for Joshua Sullivan was fifth. And I'm going to hand you over to Jim now, who's going to take you through the next few races.